All right, now it's time to talk about the very cool stuff. And by very cool stuff, I mean this bar here. Look at it. It's just like what you left behind in Windows 7 if you paid for that. Um, so let's go into it. Um, I have two bars right now. I have this one that's nice. And then if I move my mouse ever so slightly to the bottom, I have the good old-fashioned thing which shows me uh, updates. Oh, I don't want to. Hello, hello. <laughs> I might have lost contact with you, but probably not. Um, it shows me updates. It shows me the audio. It shows me the wireless networks. And stuff gets like written into the here. Uh, this thing doesn't get the little... It doesn't have a tray icon area where which other applications can like put themselves into. It's lacking that, and it needs to get that. But but it doesn't have it at this moment so you have to keep this like kinda hidden it's like your sneaky thing um, you don't you don't really need to move your mouse ooh, down to the right corner because you can just hit your windows key to pull that up and start typing um, but yeah we want to get the docky how do we get the docky that's what this is called you could google for it probably have figured out how to install it before I told you just now but we're gonna go to software manager and we're gonna kind of manually. I mean, you can't not manually do anything on the computer. But we're going to open up Software Manager. We're going to click up here and we're going to just type the word Docky. And that'll pull up the old, elegant, powerful, clean Docky. Double click it and it's got four stars. Um, deservingly so. And Oh, up right here, click, instead of remove, click the install button. It might not show up. You, I think the first time you have to manually go into here and type docky and go into it. And I don't know what that's going to do. Okay, so it didn't create a second docky, which is fortunate for me. I don't know why my CPU is out of control. It's just off the charts. But... To the settings of Docky are always available right here. I do wish that they would turn that into a right-click option, but to get it to work fully, I needed to download a theme called Ambience Dark. And, uh, you know, you just click Install and you lead to it. Um, and also to make it more like Windows and not like Linux, you click Panel Mode. And Panel Mode... There's no reason you need it to be a whole panel, now that I think about it. But I certainly love the option, and I would have turned, I would have rejected this immediately if that wasn't an option. So, so, so that's that about that setting. You can click over here. Starts when the user logs in. You probably you want that checked. Um, now you you have to add a couple docklets. Here's the important ones. You need a clock. And you can move. Here's the clock. You can move it side to side if you want. Those should those should be up and down arrows. Um, I CPU monitors. At first I was like, why do I care? But I do care. It matters. Um, battery power. That's fun to have. I guess a trash. Sure. Why not? and then clear to desktop. I've never used that and so it's not useful to me. So I'll remove it. Um, but it's not like all of this real estate is wasted anyway so it's it doesn't matter to me. Um, there you go and then there's some helpers that I don't understand and I don't know anything about those. But that's the docky. Oh and when that menu is open this wasn't totally intuitive. Then you can move the docky to other places. I prefer to never put anything on the top because I like to really quickly move my mouse to the top to like close a window or whatever and not have to aim, not have to slow down to aim. Um, even though this is albeit a little bit annoying. Um, but that, that is how you install docky. All oh, right, and go in, if you're in Cinnamon, Linux Mint. You type in cinnamon settings and then you go to tab window panel. Okay, you go to panel and then you can check auto hide panel and you can increase the delay. It, ooh. Yeah, yeah, sure, fine. 
Um, so that's just making it move slower. I don't even know. Hold on. Alright, that doesn't seem to do anything. Um, but but that's how you get it to automatically hide. You might need to reboot. Here's, yeah, here these settings you need to reboot. So I think maybe when you auto hide, panel edit mode, panel launch is draggable. Uh, you, could, you could move this to the top, but again, I like to quickly be able to close things up. So that's all there is to that little segment. All right, and here's where the dark theme is found. Uh, let me just check a, check a Google ambience docky themes. Let's Google that. And we should see a oh, hole. This is it. It's the first hit at the moment. Um, and Google's usually pretty consistent. Oh, does this look familiar? Yeah. And then we can click download. This looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, this is this is it. So as you can see this thing doesn't seem to be working. Uh but yeah. Um <sighs> what's next? So we installed Dock, and if you want to uninstall it, just uninstall it. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, let me go over screencasting software. All of it sucks. You're always going to lose a lot of videos. Just get over it, and each, one is, each video you lose is more practice for you. I happen to be using Kazam right now, and you go into Apt and install Kazam, and it's pretty straightforward how to use it. That's what makes it better than Record My Desktop, because Record My Desktop is... Although it searches better in the software manager, it is, I don't understand how it works. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it works. So uh, from there, what did we talk about first? Windows, doc style. Uh, we could be pretty much done with this little episode. Yeah. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's be done with this one.